we have uh, citizens wishing to be heard. Our first citizen is Mr. Bob Harlan. Please come forward and state your name and your address for the record, please. Bob Harlan uh, of uh, 7083 Ham Estates Drive. Uh, in 1988, uh, that was uh, Royal Route 1, Box 1154, same place. Uh, I was stationed at Moody at that particular time, and I bought that property uh, in 1988. There were just several individuals living on that property at that particular time. The individuals there, myself, we worked it out with the county, and the county, in fact, did start maintaining the road. Uh, approximately twice a month, they would come in and grade it. There's dirt roads uh, within uh, just a short distance uh, of our road. They would jump over, and, and it'd take about 15, 20 minutes. They would grade it and go about their business. Part of the process uh, in the early 90s, uh, it was decided that that road, uh, to continue to be maintained by the county, would in fact need to be owned by the county. Uh, we started going through the process of getting the landowners at that particular time uh, to sign the documents needed to, in fact, turn this uh, easements over to the county. Several individuals uh, decided at that particular moment that they wanted the county to purchase their easement versus uh, uh, of actually giving it to the county. The county, uh, within a short distance, uh, time frame, went ahead and sent all the paperwork back to each one of the uh, members on the uh, Hammond State's Drive saying that the county would no longer maintain the road uh, and that they would no longer uh, pursue any other activities. We went back to the county a short time after that and showed that those few landowners that had uh, objected had a change of heart and were willing, in fact, to donate uh, their easement. And we're talking about, uh, uh, I believe it's 60 feet down the center of the road, 30 each direction, if I recall. Through the years, we've come back to the Commission on numerous occasions and tried to persuade the Commission that our road, in fact, was maintained by the county and that there was the process or hangouts of donating the easement to the county, but we've never been able to take and get back on track again. In the early 90s, there were just few, a couple families living on that road. There's now over 14 families living on this dirt road that it's approximately three quarters of a mile long. The amount of traffic far, far exceeds what it did in the late 80s and early 90s. Also, the population of that uh, Hammer State Drive is uh, getting substantially older. In fact, I'm one of the younger members of our, of our community. Community of mostly retirees, uh, military vets, and quite frankly, a few that are Vietnam era vets. Uh, we have physically been trying to maintain that road through self-generated funds and, quite frankly, our own labor and whatever equipment we could take and muster within our community. The county, in fact, did maintain that road, and there was an agreement or hangouts to take and do the documentation to turn over the easement to the county in the early 90s. I believe things have changed substantially in Lowndes County. The amount of businesses and growth is unbelievable compared to 1990. But our road is still being maintained literally like it was 1950. We, the community members of Ham Estates Drive, would like to take and have the commission go back and look, probably not only at our road, but other roads that are in similar situations that are not owned by the county but have a tremendous amount of traffic and need to be maintained with professional equipment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Harden. All right, our second.